Hi, welcome back to a new part of our tutorial. Today we want to go on with your and my train. Uh, last time we did here some uh, metal objects. That one is here, that one. And then we have the metal here. So what we need is we need much from them. You see that? There are uh, 150 that we need. So we go in here. We have a group of them. You see that? But uh, we, when we go in edit mode, we see there are too much uh, of words. So X and limit dissolve. Then we have less. Uh, okay. So they we need an array. So we plug in an array that makes it on this side is wrong so we make here a zero and here one and we need a minus so we take minus one then we bring it a little bit distance in it and then we type in here 150 so we got that. That are 700,000 words. You know that is very, very, very much. Uh, be careful with that. Uh, your PC isn't unendless strong. So I try here on lower one, 80. We start with 80. When we need more, we can make more. Good. Uh, so we have that. Uh, next one is to get the metal on it. So for that, that is here. We jump to that we build it. Uh, we go in there, mark all and X dissolve, limit dissolve again. So that here has less faces too. Then we need here a new material and we have to apply rotation scale. Then we set the origin to the geometry and we have here the metal for that. We can't look that in an array uh, without that you see that is uh, titled. So because of that we can't use an image. So we cut that. We make our own image. That means um, we have a diffuse shader that gives the material gray and we have a glossy and that should be mixed but not 50-50 like you see there. Uh, we want to get it by a texture. We take there a noise texture and get them as a factor in it. Then you see what happens there. We get a light rough effect there. Uh, and yeah, we now must look how much glossy we want and how that looks. I'll make a pre-render so that is our material in the moment. That is good for now. We have here this noise texture that is the space between them and here must be rust material on it you see it here there's rust on the sides so we need a rust material there we go in hit a plus and go here to rust uh, rust where is it red iron rust there is it um, there we need another one, so we first we change here the material because you see that is too close here, too much. Um, so that means I must look what was the failure on it, too close. So we go here higher and we go here deeper. And we don't need it darker, maybe I think. And we get that away. 
I plug that in. That's lighter. Oh, go back again. Good. It's 50-50 in the moment. That is the whole material. Good. Oh, we can track that away. Yeah, I must look what is the original. There's no original. Why? We go in there. Get our texture of rust. You can get it uh, on textures.com. I tell it you. Oh. Good. Uh, we see there is something wrong with it, so we make a new one. New. Call it Rust 2. And um, yeah, we start again with adding a texture, the Rust texture, and get it in Diffuse. Open a Rust and this one. So we got that material, and that for me looks good at the moment. So we look here from the front, go edit mode, get uh, behind selection, word selection, and mark only this part there, because the top one uh, is this silver material that we have, and the down part is this rust. So assign, and then we got that. That is the rusty thing with the glossy uh, top. Yeah, that is good. Good. Uh, we can delete this second one because we double them here. Uh, we bring them to this other one, to the beton thing. And jump to, we looked at it fits in there and bring it into good um then we need to array them like the other one before so we take here a uh, array modifier too but not to this side that's wrong so zero we try it here yeah, that's the right one. And then we type in here 150 maybe. And we see that it's too short. So we need more. We get 500. Okay, we got 600. Okay. So now we make a double of them, Shift D. Good. Then we get them both and join them together as one. Take the origin to geometry. Now I will try one and get this here too to join and then we had did problem okay so go back I know that so um, we make here another group so that means we call it with control G we make the group and give the name we call it iron food train also oh, so it's single so okay we have that as a group, we have that as a group. Now we can use them. Uh, here on this material, I've seen the beton. It's uh, too detailed. We make them rougher because we are looking from far, far away and we need their uh, better look. So we give them here maybe a three or something. Yeah. That looks better for me. Maybe we can go here to uh, one from far. Makes no difference. So 
Well, okay. There are little things, uh, but you will uh, see that not from the distance here. So they're on. That's good. Good. Um, we now can take this two, so we can delete here this all, we don't need them anymore. Now we can delete this picture here, we have it on the other. So we go to first layer, and now plug in here our things that we built uh, before. We get this train, the whole train, rotate set to the position on the picture. So that means such like that. Yeah, and now we plug under that our metal things there. So we add group instance. Now I must look the bridge part we need that we build. Then we need at the instance this um, iron foot train, yeah, and the other one is called, I must look how that called, here that one is called box bottom, okay, so we go in here and box bottom, group instance, box bottom, okay. Now we have to get the size to a point that we can take for our train. So we bring it to the train. We scale them down. Such like that. Then we rotate that not because I see that isn't the, that isn't the right way to do that um, because when we now rotate this all things we can't uh, correct them uh, fast without errors that is impossible so be better is um, we make that here from the front so rotate set that we look straight from the front that's better then we get here our beton and plug it under it so we see better what to do and we have better control over that so we get here our iron foods and scale them down such they fit with the other one Greater, a bit smaller, maybe. Okay, yeah, that is good. We bring it to the front of the train. We need a little comes out there, and here this other one too. We bring them to the front. Good. This bridge we need must be under that. So rotate set minus 90 to bring them to the position. Grabbing, positioning, thing on it. We need here this uh, other iron things. So we bring it here in front. We don't see the back side of the bridge, so we only need the front side for that. Um, but you see, too, that we have two of these things. So we will make Shift D to copy that and bring here the second one. Shift D. Not this one, the other one. That one here. Yeah. 
So Shift D and bring it to position. And that is all massive for the computer. There are uh, millions and millions of words. And uh, because of that, your computer will be very slow. When it's too slow, um, you can reduct um, the words. That is the only way that uh, is then possible. File, save. Good. Um, we have to do the stones under them. 